Today we're reviewing Bosch's brand new sabre saw. It's the GSA 18V-32. Um, the 32 being their 32mm stroke length. Um, you also have a brand new orbital action uh, which has three speeds, 0, 1 and 2. Um, and you have a variable speed dial that goes from 1 to 6. Um, it has a stroke rate of up to 2500 strokes per minute um, and weighs in at three and a half kilograms. This is a major upgrade on Bosch's previous sabre saw which was uh, previously only brushed. This is a brushless unit. Um, it's got better vibration control, a completely new form factor um, and certainly much better specs. So let's see how it goes. So um, I'm very, very pleased with this unit. This is such a massive step up for Bosch in their cordless saber saw range. Um, I was quite happy with the compact saber saws that I reviewed recently on the channel. Um, they're more of a, like a one-handed kind of use. Um, but for their premium full-size one, their previous version um, was quite lacking and, and not keeping up with, the, um, with its competitors at all. Um, it was sort of one of the weaker points in their line. So this one um, has catapulted them straight up um, up to the top tier again with the Makita and the Milwaukee um, brushless reciprocating saws. This is a, a, a really nice unit. I love that it's got an orbital feature. Um, you've just seen me cutting some gel pipe. I did that with our orbital function and then with the orbital function. And it does cut the gel pipe quicker as well, although you, 
it's not really designed to be used for metal. The orbital function is designed to chow through timber really fast, um, which I'm also doing there uh, with an LVL. I think that's a 42 by 250 millimeters, I'm gonna say. Pretty big LVL, just chows through it really fast. Um, I've used Diablo blades for all these testing, so that's giving it its best opportunity because they're really good blades. Um, what else? The variable speed. I love having variable speed dial here on the top instead of just having to feather the trigger um, because it just enables me to focus on um, keeping the right sort of pressure on it reciprocating. So this doesn't have um, too much vibration. It's, it's anti-vibration features um, or its control seem very good. However, just within your reciprocating saw, the key is to keep it pushed up hard against your workpiece um, and you can focus on that more without having to worry about the trigger speed as well. So liking that. Also like the little uh, rafter hook here, nice steel one. It's going to go straight over two inch timber, no problem. So that's really good. Um, and the shoe adjustment on the bottom, as I showed you in the video, is really easy. Um, so I like that too. And what I haven't mentioned before is this um, large exaggerated collar here on the front for changing your SDS, um, well, an SDS system, um, reciprocating saw blade bits. Um, so that's gonna, the fact that it's so big and you don't have to reach in there and get the, get the outside shield um, is gonna mean that it's gonna be much easier with gloves um, to get your blades in. It is a little bit sticky sometimes, but I've experienced that quite a lot on saber saws. Um, so yeah, this is an incredibly fully featured cordless 18 volt reciprocating saw, or saber saw as Bosch calls them. Um, really impressed. This is a GSA 18 V-32. I believe as a skin without any batteries or charger, it's up near the $300 mark in Australia. So it's not cheap, um, but you are getting a very, very um, exciting, powerful, fully featured reciprocating saw. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this review. Please let me know what you think. Drop something in the comments. Um, if you've got any questions, hit like on the video um, and subscribe if you could to our channel. That'd be great. See you next time. Thanks, bye.